In this video, we're taking a look at a VS Code extension called Turbo Console Log. It's a must have for web developers. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeremy, and this channel is all about helping you to become a better developer with the latest tools and techniques. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is hop over to the extensions panel and install Turbo Console Log. As you can see, there are quite a few forks of this extension. The one I use is the original and it has over 1 million installs. So we'll just go and click on install and that's it, it's installed. Now that we have the extension installed, we just need to highlight a variable that we wanna to print to the console and press Control Option L on a Mac or Control Alt L on Windows. And as you can see, we get a console log that prints out the variable numbers as well as a string before that. So it tells us what file we're in, what line number, what the function name is, and the variable name. Let's see what this looks like in the console. And when we run this JavaScript file in the terminal, we can see here's our console log. Turbo console log also works with multiple cursors. So for example, we can double click numbers to highlight it and then hold down option on a Mac or Alt on Windows and double click filtered, we'll double click sum and max. Now we have a cursor on each of these lines and just like before, it's gonna be Control Option L. And now we have a console log for each of those variables. This makes adding console logs for debugging purposes very quick. So let's go ahead and save this file and see what that looks like. And here are all of our console logs. Now let's take a look at some of the other things that Turbo Console Log can do. Let's say we want to comment out all of these console logs that we've added. The key combination for that is Option Shift C on Mac or Alt Shift C on Windows. And we can see that it comments out all of the console logs in this file. And to uncomment, it's Option Shift U. Now let's say we're done with all of our debugging and we want to get rid of all these console logs. Turbo Console Log makes this easy as well. We just press Option Shift D to delete all of the console logs that were inserted. Now let's take a look at some of the things that Turbo Console Log will let you configure. So we're just gonna open up the settings with Command Comma on a Mac or control comma on Windows. And then we're gonna type in Turbo Console Log. And here we can see all of the settings that Turbo Console Log lets you configure. So a couple of these to note are adding semicolons to the end of your console log. I always leave this off because I want my linter to yell at me so I don't accidentally leave them in by accident. We can choose to insert empty lines before and after the log message. We can decide whether or not we want to include the file name and line number. We can also choose what kind of log type. So do we want to do a warning, an error, debug, or just log by default? Let's try out the table. We can also change whether we want double quotes or single quotes. And we can also change whether or not we want to wrap the log message. We'll go ahead and enable that as well. So now that we've changed some of the settings, let's see how this affected some of the console logs. We're just gonna highlight the variable numbers and insert the console log. And here we can see that we're using console table and we have our empty lines before with single quotes. Let's see how this looks in the console. And there it is. Not bad, right? So I do want to point out that I had trouble getting the settings to take effect with Turbo Console Log. I'm not sure if this is because I'm constantly switching profiles for recording purposes or what, but for me, I ended up having to uninstall the extension, reinstall it, and the settings took effect. So I'm not sure. If you end up having the same problem, just uninstall the extension and reinstall it. Before you head out, I've kicked off a weekly newsletter. It contains the same type of tips, tricks, and tools that you'll find on this channel. Just hit the link in the description below, hop over to my website, and sign up. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.